What up with it, Q-Tile hollering at you, and today I wanted to present to you a quick little video for the music producers out there that may be wondering, can this little tablet be used as a portable production machine? It's a nice little two-in-one. I got it on sale from Best Buy on Black Friday for $599.99. It came with the type cover, which is, I believe, 100 bucks on its own. And this isn't the high tier version. This is the i3 128 gigabyte version of the Surface Pro 7. I've enjoyed it so far. It's been very great, very nice. I also, probably the most unusual thing about it for me is I do have a one terabyte SanDisk Extreme micro SD card in there. And I've got all my music production and software running straight off the micro card. And yes, it does work. I have FL Studio and Machine. Those are my two weapons of choice. You just double tap. You start it up. Hopefully I click that properly. Let's try that again. See if we can get it pop up. There we go. I'm also start up Machine as well. And I was actually kind of surprised that it was able to run the software directly off the, uh, mem the micro SD card itself, but it's been able to do it so far. No problems, no issues. We see we got machine right there and I've loaded up several BSTs. I've loaded up maybe 11 or 12 at once just to see if I can push it. Cause normally I'm not going to use that many BSTs at once. I'm triggering a lot of sample sounds and then I'll have some BSTs in there. Maybe three, four or five if I'm really feeling frisky, you know what I mean? But I haven't had any issues whatsoever. It runs very, very well. Also what's nice about it, it's got a nice little stand built into it. So you can lean it real far back and it stays nice and stable. Let me get a better angle for you. Nice and stable, no problem. So you can angle it however you want to. That's been very nice. Also, as you can see, I got my uh, USB plugged in. That's another beautiful feature about it. USB type A port over here on the side, full fledged USB port over here on the side. Let me get a proper focus on that for you. And it does power control. So if you got a MIDI controller that you want to power, it works. No problem, no issues. It doesn't have to be plugged in. It'll just power it by itself. So this little two-in-one definitely packs a nice little punch. Also to note on the power cord itself, there's an additional USB-A port so you can use two MIDI controllers at one time if you choose to do so. And I have done that before. It's been very, very nice. And I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any problems with it glitching or or just not enough power to you know do any kind of music production type of task that I've tried to do on it thus far. The only knock that I have on it is that the battery life isn't the greatest. Normally, if I'm using this bad boy, with the controller not plugged in, I can get a good four to five hours out of it, which isn't terrible. It ain't the greatest in the world, but it's not bad. Considering you're, you're powering a device and you're running BSTs and do all these, you know, task intensive things, no problem. And it charges up really, really fast. I mean, you can go from zero to 80%, I believe they say in an hour. And from what I've seen, it's been true thus far. So it's been, absolutely a joy this is absolutely a go if you're producing you want to make beats on the road this gives you the opportunity to do so you can climb up on top of a mountain make a beat if you want to just to get the vibes you feel me but yeah man that's it that that's the quick little video it, you can do it long story short it can do it and it can do it well the only knock is be be careful about the battery life it ain't terrible but it ain't the greatest anyways Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you don't mind. I greatly appreciate it if you took the time to do so. And until next time, peace.